The coronavirus is on the mind of everyone. The virus is killing 38 out of every 100,000 people in New Orleans. That is nearly twice as much as New York City. At the start of this pandemic, the city of New Orleans was a hot spot in the United States of America. Every single day came with deaths in our community, and we had to do something. All businesses, colleges, and universities should scale down operations. All public and private gatherings shall be canceled. I am issuing a stay-home mandate. When we had to make tough calls, we were ahead of the state of Louisiana, and we got blowback, but it was necessary. Leadership is making that decision that's in the best interest of the people that you serve doesn't mean that it's comfortable every time you do it, but we save lives based on those decisions. And if the pandemic hasn't taught us anything, it's about that we can make that tough call and back it up with action. We were the first to stand up a federal testing site. We stood up a gig fund for those who are the backbone of this city's economy. We stood up a mass vaccination site. We've been leaders in this. The pandemic revealed the most vulnerable people are those that are impacted the most when tragedy strikes. And so for the city of New Orleans to have a sustainable and equitable future, we're going to have to dignify our people with greater opportunities. Now is the time for us to remove that wage gap. Now is the time for us to deal with the health disparities that exist in our city. Now is the time to ensure that we're embracing technology, bio and medical science, advanced manufacturing, renewable energy platforms. We have to look at public safety through the lens of public health. We cannot wait because the future of this city depends on the people of the city, the culture of this city depends on what we do right now. Now is the time.